The Razer Death Adder is a mouse notorious for its low CPS and complete lack of ability to double click as well as drag click. To solve these issues with the Death Adder, I had to do some heavy modifications to the mouse, aka completely stripping out all the electronics from the mouse, replacing the sensor, including the circuit board and the switches, as well as adding a completely new cable to the mouse, and most surprising of all, the new electronics that was surgically transplanted into the Death Adder were actually the brains of the bloody A70 mouse. Stay tuned as I guide you along my journey into creating one of the craziest Frankenstein of a Razer Death Adder mouse that can actually drag click extremely well and literally possess the powers of the bloody A70 mouse. First off, when taking apart these mice, I instantly recognized that these mice are extremely similar in size, shape, and position. For example, when aligning these circuit boards side to side, the circuit board of the bloody A70 and the circuit board of the Razer Death Adder, I noticed the switches align exactly. Due to the complex nature of circuit boards and PCBs, it's extremely important that they align in shape and size because it's really hard to reduce the shape or change it in any significant manner because wires are actually interwoven on the top and bottom throughout the actual board material. What makes this mod difficult, unfortunately, is that I actually have to cut a hole in the bottom of the Death Adder casing because the sensors clearly don't align and I don't really want to mess with the position of the bloody A70 sensor in case of some calibration issues. So we're gonna have to cut that bad boy out of the bloody A70. Ah uh, yes, remember the good old times of YouTube where 1000 degree knife challenges were the hot new videos. Today we're gonna do something pretty similar. I'm thinking that I could cut out the plastic part of the sensor from the bottom of the bloody A70 using a 1000 degree knife. But this comes with its safety precautions. This time I'll be wearing a full gas mask to protect myself from any fumes or whatnot. And, of course, fire extinguishers will always be present at the scene. Of course, I will have to present my disclaimer. Do not try this at home. Do not try to replicate any of these activities because they are solely done by professionals like me. Let's now heat up the blade and get it as hot as possible. Okay, for the final reveal. Let's see if this actually works. Three, two, one. Uh, it's not. Oh, no. This did not work as well as I thought it would. The blade immediately cooled down. I think we're gonna have to do something else. Since the 1000 degree knife idea completely flopped, we're gonna use the classic method of drilling holes around something and then cutting it out. As you can see, the drill press cuts through it like butter. We're gonna clean off some of the plastic because it kind of gets stuck and melted between the drill bit. But other than that, we have nicely drilled holes all the way around the sensor. And then we can simply stick a coping saw blade through it and cut that bad boy out. But it doesn't look too good with all those jagged edges around it. So let's just simply file it down and smoothen down the edges. Boom. With the magic of editing, it's nice and smooth now. Now let's just get some sandpaper and smoothen it out a little bit more. Finally, we're going to use an industry grade solvent known as acetone, aka nail polish remover, to soften up the edges and give the plastic a nice finish. To reiterate once again, the reason why we cut out this part of the bloody A70 mouse is because we want to secure this magnifier for the optical sensor appropriately to the bloody A70 circuit board so that we don't mess up the calibration of the sensor. Therefore, I'm just going to glue the magnifying glass on this piece of plastic housing as follows and we're going to then glue this entire housing to the bloody A70 circuit board. The next part will be kind of complicated and tricky because we'll have to line up this sensor housing that we just glued on with a hole that we have to cut into the actual death adder plastic case. Off camera I did a bit of measurements and it was a pretty meticulous process cutting out the hole in the back of the death adder casing and it took a lot of filing and just fidgeting around. Eventually I was able to get it lined up perfectly with 
the bloody A70 PCB and as you can see they snap together perfectly with everything aligned exceptionally and the scroll wheel in the right place. Of course we gotta add the cable and after all this is not a wireless mouse so we're gonna use the original razor cable and splice it with the bloody cable because the razor cable best fits the mouse. Basically all I will do is strip both of the wires, lay them out next to each other and simply solder them together and wrap them with electrical tape as a finishing touch. Sadly I kind of messed up in my thinking. I was originally planning to do the splice at the end of the wire near the USB part but instead I accidentally did it literally on the first part of the mouse so you're gonna have to carry around this heavy lob of electrical tape at the front of the mouse which is kind of annoying next time I should have just done it uh, farther up the wire rather than directly in front of the mouse that was my bad hey it's now time to do some drag clicking I'm gonna put on the top shell of the mouse and screw it on and we should be ready to drag click. I don't have the best electrical tape if you ask me. I have scotch electrical tape, it's not that good for drag clicking. But if I had some better tape then possibly I would be able to get more but let's get right into it. You go Naichi. Basically, what I'm doing here is I'm short dragging. I actually short dragged for 60 seconds straight, getting 20 CPS above and over 1,100 clicks within only a 60 second period. This mouse is wonderful for guard bridging because guard bridging requires fast short dragging that gives you decent CPS. 20 CPS is way more than enough for guard bridging. And the only reason why I can't guard bridge with this mouse is because my aim is really bad as well as my texture pack but basically this mouse is pretty good for god bridging because of its short dragon if you made it this far already i can't thank you enough and i'd really appreciate it if you could just hit that subscribe button it's free and it helps out the channel tremendously follow me on instagram link in description as well as if you want to you can join my discord server enjoy